Hi, we're Sarah and Ryan. In the summer of 2020, we put up a 30-foot yurt, which is serving as additional living space for our family of four as we build a cabin. In today's episode, we're completing the covered entrance to our yurt. We have been tarping the door each time we leave to protect it right now. and that's like we're a little homeless. This project is simple enough, but we struggle a few times along the way. We keep running into a lot of errors that are some seem to be our fault and we're going to blame one on my dad. And it's not just building the structure that's a little tricky. Getting the structure from the ground to the deck has us a bit worried. Yeah, and if we can't figure it out, then... We'll figure it out after that. <laughs> like if our first plan doesn't work, we'll go to plan B, which we don't have yet. Follow along with us as we put this finishing piece on the entrance of our yurt. And if you haven't already, be sure to like this episode as you watch and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a moment of our building adventures. We are getting a little bit late start today. We got to have some fun time relaxing with our friend that's here. And uh, and now we're all getting started into project mode. We have a good fire going to get some of our burn pile down. We're gonna be sanding the deck and we also have, oh, they can't see you yet, hon. And then me and Ryan are gonna start assembling the structure that's gonna go over our deck for the deck into the yurt. So it's a very, very busy day today, but I think we'll have a lot of fun too. Well, we have three posts that we're able to repurpose for this project, two from Ryan's brother. So we are like lucking out in the materials department and we just cleaned those up and we're gonna cut them all so we can get our posts set for this garden arbor that will actually be the covered entrance to our yurt. And then our little helpers over here and my friend are gonna Hello. start painting the deck. And we actually had paint left that was used for our shed for that. So we're like, this is awesome that we're just able to kind of keep reusing all this stuff and it's like a cheap project. A good job on that paintbrush. Okay. It's looking good, Lindy. Yesterday we finished the, the deck you can see behind us and uh, we found a, a pergola plan mm -hmm. that we're going to adapt. We're going to change the roofing on it a little bit um, and we're going to use that as the cover uh, for the entrance and it'll protect the door. Yes, because we have been tarping the door each time we leave to protect it right now. And that's Looks like we're a little homeless. And it's a major pain too. Yeah. yeah. So we're a little bit concerned that once we get the, the structure on top of the deck, that it's going to be difficult to work on. So we're going to build it on the ground first completely. And then we're going to try to do some, some sketchy stuff <laughs> and use the tractor forks to lift it up on top of the deck. And we, we've done this with when we brought Manuel into mm -hmm. the yurt 
but he's a more solid and yeah. lower low, to the ground Low structure. center of gravity. So this will be interesting. But we're gonna like strap them down. We're gonna be safe, but uh, we'll move nice and slow. Yeah, and if we can't figure it out, then we'll figure it out after <laughs> that. Like if our first plan doesn't work, we'll go to plan B, which we don't have yet. Yeah, So. Yeah, figure out plan B when we get there. All right, we're gonna get to work. Here we go. <laughs> Alright guys, we keep running into a lot of errors that are some seem to be our fault and we're going to blame one on my dad because he rewrote some plans for us but it's probably not his fault. But anyway, <laughs> we were going to cut these and realized we needed one more notch out of each size and then we brought them up and we were like, let's just lay them together and trace them and they didn't match up. So now we're having to recut that and it's just very, it's very frustrating. Are you feeling frustrated, Ryan? No. Okay, Ryan's not feeling frustrated. Just me. Okay, you can see the structure back there. It looks all crazy because we've got a lot of cross braces on it and braces along the bottom, but we because like we said, we're gonna to try to lift it with the tractor. I think it's a solid plan. I, I agree. No, I think it's gonna be good. We got done with all of the notching of the, the, the posts and the beams that you have to have done, which just takes a lot longer than you want it to, but it ends up giving it a really nice clean look, which I think is gonna look really good. Yeah, and it was the first time we <clears> I <throat> notched stuff before, so I was trying to figure out if the skill saw or the table saw or the saws all yeah or... we used all, all the them. saws today we were just like let's get them all out yep but we're all cleaned up now and we've got it in place for tomorrow basically and we've got to start out the day tomorrow with going to the hardware store and getting everything else we need to actually complete this project and we're finding out that the people who are going to come backfill are going to be able to do it while we're here this week so we need to make sure we've got stuff for that too Hopefully in the next couple of days we'll be able to, to get it up up over the yurt and yeah. it'll be finished. I'm super excited to see it in place. So, <laughs> so that's it for us. We will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys, just got it to the hardware store. I'm going to run inside and grab some supplies so we can finish up the cover for the yurt and uh, hopefully be in and out of here so I can get back and we can get to work. So I just picked up the uh, the roofing tiles and <laughs> barely fit them into the uh, minivan. Poor minivan is getting a workout. Um, they only needed to be six feet, but they only had 12 footers, so I'm gonna have to cut those down. And luckily, we <laughs> just had enough room by about an inch. So I'm gonna go pick up the rest of the lumber we're looking for, and then I'll be back back home to get to work. The goal today is to get the roof basically in place. So Ryan is working on the ridge beam over here and then we'll be starting to put on, we're gonna use the corrugated see-through type roofing that we've used on a lot of the structures here. I like it because it allows more light in 
and we were actually thinking about going with a colored one for this one, but we, it wasn't available. We have to do it to both sides. Artsy. Yeah. It's a neat artsy. What is it? Functional. know day three of putting this together our structure behind us we really got quite a bit of progress done yesterday things are a little slow going with this project just because it does have more of a decorative look to it which is new to both Ryan and I with putting stuff together today we're going to be putting on the corrugated roofing and then we are gonna move it from this location to its permanent location behind me so that's probably gonna be the most exciting part of the day because we get to use the tractor and the forklifts to do that. And I'm hoping by the end of today, we will have a structure in place on the deck of our yurt and this project is complete because we have the weather on our side today and then it looks like it's going to start raining. And then we can test it out and enjoy how awesome it is to go into the yurt with a dry cover in front of it. <laughs> If you're wondering how we're going to get the structure that we're building up onto that deck with just the two of us, we're going to use these forklifts that we attach to the bucket of our tractor. Strap the arbor onto the, the forklifts, and then hopefully it'll just go whoop, whoop, and be on there. So wish us luck. Okay, I'm gonna use this uh, skill saw to cut down this corrugated PVC roofing that we're gonna use for the top of the pergola. And one thing I found out the hard way when cutting this this uh, this PVC is that you need to reverse your saw blade on your skill saw, or it just chips. The, the roofing. So take off your blade, reverse it so the teeth aren't biting in, and you'll get a nice smooth buttery cut. Ryan was cutting the ridged roofing that we have and we were we put the blade on backwards which it says to do to get your best cut and it was still chipping so we're getting some duct tape and we're going to put that along the cut line too and that's what we did the last time and hoping for less chips this way
So we tried the tape and it didn't work either. It still chipped it a ton. We've done this before and we had no problems. So we're, we just did a little problem solving on YouTube and we've got it now between two saw horses so it has more stability. And Ryan put a blade on the circular saw that is a finer blade. So let's see if this works now. Right, that cut worked a lot better. So we did double-sided painter's tape, like painter's tape on both sides because that's all we had. We ran out of duct tape. We did a finer tooth circular saw blade and we made it so the cut was happening between the two saw horses. So we're not sure which of those variables helped us. And then we also, Ryan read that if you let the, the um, guard go down on the saw once it was ready to, and kind of rest against the saw blade and that guard to do that. So he also did that. So, but anyway, we're hap a lot happier with this cut. I'll show it to you in just a second. It still like had a few chips, but nothing compared to our first one that you saw. <laughs> Completed with the arbor structure that's going to be our covered entrance to our yurt, but now we need to get it up onto the deck. And our first thing we're going to do is we're just going to turn it so it's square with the deck. <laughs> and then we're going to get it up on the tractor on those forklifts that I showed you, and we're just going to put it on up there. The hard part is that you have to have the post brackets in place and ready for them. So our thought is we're going to have two of them in place? Is that what you're thinking? Or none of them? We're gonna have none of them in place. We're gonna lift the structure, set it on the deck, and then we're going to position the four hold down post brackets, and then we're just gonna scoot it into place. Yep, and this is one of the moments when I wish we had a third person, <laughs> and I just was like, didn't have to do anything. Cause this scares me, all these things, but I bet it'll be okay. That looks scary. Okay, hold on. Okay, I don't have any sort of like push up on this the way I'm doing it. I'm just lifting like this. Out. Okay. We doing this we're gonna take the tractor with the forks okay I'm gonna put them right under here 
the two by six that we have on the tractor, we're going to butt up against here. And then we're going to strap it all the way around there to bind it all together. Like all around the outside of it? Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go up. I see it moving and it doesn't crumple apart. So I would push, I would maybe hand, have your hand like on the top, that top beam. Or this that, one? Yeah. Okay. And kind of, I don't know, push down and at me. So any of the like little bumps of the hydraulic kind of like level out. Yeah. First I'm going to raise it a little bit. actually released from the tractor. Um, now we just need to take all of the braces off of it that we put on so it could be freestanding below. We have one brace that's right up against the door so we're trying to figure out how we're going to get that off. It all actually went pretty smooth except for one back leg, one back post got like tucked in from the strap so that was a little bit um, a little scary as we put it down and it all is going to be fine it looks like. So now our job is to actually get it onto post brackets which is like a whole nother thing. Now we got to get to the next step and we're almost done. All right we are putting the post brackets into place where we want the structure to go and then we're going to push the structure onto the post brackets. So Ryan has attached one post bracket and he's going to attach the rest of them and then we're going to move it and secure it Done. And we're done! <laughs> Alright guys, we got the structure up and I really love how it looks. Um, and then we got it all into its place and then Ryan was like, hey, let's just make sure the door opens. And I was like, of course the door is going to open because we measured. 
Let me just show you what happened. And let me just tell you too, I was like, I'm not even gonna put this, I don't even want this on our episode because it's so stupid. By that much, you guys. That's it. And of course, we already have it all nailed in, all in its place. So how we're fixing is we're just sawing a teeny tiny little arch and eventually we will sand this and we'll stain it or paint it and you won't really notice, but it just, I don't, it, it totally sucks. Not gonna lie because we are very done with this project right now and ready to just relax. So but anyway, we can't get into the yurt, so <laughs> we gotta get this done. So. All right, last time you saw us, you saw me telling you that the door wouldn't open to the yurt, and we were both really frustrated. We did get the problem all fixed, and the door opened. We were able to have our evening in the yurt like we usually do as a family. Are you excited to be done with this one? I'm so ready. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's just had a lot of little frustrations along with it. All right, I know you guys saw the arbor when it was up in place and we were working on the brackets of those getting in place in the corners there and they provide just a little bit more support and they're also make it just a little nicer to look at. Today, Ryan and I cut those out and we got them all ready and we were about ready to put them up and they really need a good sanding. And unfortunately we don't have a sander here. So we're gonna wait bring them home, put them on through the belt sander, bring them back and put them up and then get this stained. But basically this project is done. We're really happy with how it turned out. And even with a few mess ups along the way, it all worked out the way we wanted it to. So that's where we're gonna leave you for this episode. I hope you liked this one. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. It's the best way to support us and we appreciate it so much. All right, bye.